Hello everyone, in this video we have a calculus problem where we have to find the slope of the curve r is equal to 2 minus 3 times sine theta at 2 comma pi. So first this is a polar curve obviously and we first have to know the formula for finding the slope of a polar curve. And to find for the formula we first have to write two things down. And you basically kind of have to have these memorized. And if you are good at forgetting things, then I taught you guys a way to um, how to remember this. So y is equal to, let me write it a bit more down. Y is equal to r multiplied by a sine theta and x is equal to r multiplied by cosine theta. And I taught you guys how to memorize this or just find for these two um, in a couple of videos ago. And it was the same thing, finding the slope of a polar curve. And so yeah. So and when it asks for the slope, it's basically asking for dy over dx. And to find for dy, all we really need to have to do is take the derivative of y here, right? So that would give us 1 multiplied by dy is equal to, we're going to use chain rule. So let's take the derivative of r first times sine theta plus take the derivative of sine theta now. And now for dx, we have to take the derivative of this on both sides. 1 times dx is equal to, use product rule again, and we have r prime times cosine theta minus r times uh, sine theta. And then we can just put these two into here, and that will give us r prime times sine theta plus r times cosine theta all divided by r prime times cosine theta minus r times sine theta and now you can see well polar like polar coordinates are expressed as the radius comma theta that tells us that theta is equal to pi but we still have y here, right? And so, in advance, I'm going to put in theta is equal to pi into here. So that we wouldn't have to put this in and then put theta is equal to pi. I think that would take longer, so. First, r is equal to 2 minus 3 times sine theta. That would give us r of pi, when theta is pi, 2 minus 0. And uh, if we take the derivative of r, that would give us r prime as negative 3 times cosine theta. If we put in theta is equal to pi, we would have negative 3 multiplied by negative 1, which is 3. And now we can just put them in. r is equal to 2 and r prime is equal to 3. So let's just put that in. r prime is equal to 3 times sine theta plus r is equal to 2 multiplied by cosine theta divided by r prime which is 3 times cosine theta subtracted by r which is 2 times sine theta and then we can put in theta is equal to pi into this whole entire thing sine pi is 0 and 2 times cosine pi is negative 2 divided by cosine pi is negative 1 so negative 3 and that is just 
zero. Sine sine pi is just zero. These two are just zero, so we don't have to worry about that. And the negative negative cancels out and makes just two over three as our slope. Thank you so much for watching this video. And this was a video about how to find for the slope of the curve at this point. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.